Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to my Football Manager 2018 series Non-League the Premier League with Kirsten Ashton. Now as you can see today we're up against Bradford PA and well we are sitting 16th in the table. So you'll probably want to know how the hell we've done that. Well looking at the schedule you were with us for a 3-1 defeat to Non-Eaton and as usual off camera look at this. You see all them big green circles. Well, we went out in the FA Trophy third round qualifying round against Telford. Beat them 1-0. Ryan Grant with the little early goal six minutes in. Then we beat Darlington 2-0 with Broccoli and Duel getting on the score sheets. One in each end of the half. North Ferby we beat 2-1. Obviously, you see Duel scored again. They equalised. And Ivor Lawton with a 91st minute winner. So that was good. Then we went and beat Tramere. Two quick goals from Luke Lofts, 37 and 49 minutes. Fantastic result there. Then we went and beat Stockport 3-2. We were 1-0 up. Then we went 2-0 up. 3-0 up. And then they brought two goals back. Literally, as soon as we scored that third, they scored within a minute. But in our last game, we played Bradford PA in our last game. And we lost 2-1. There was 93 minutes on the cl clock. They scored from a corner. Little Javin Fidal knock in with a winner, and that let, made it 2 1 to them. Now, as you can see, look, Lost set us off on a flying start, but unfortunately, we couldn't hold off right at the last kick of the game on both halves. Basically, they scored two goals like literally half time 45 plus one. Literally, that was the last kick of the half, and then the 92nd, well, it was actually 93rd minute. I don't know how they got 92nd, it was like 59, I'm going into, thir into 93, but they gave it 92 minutes, in my opinion it was 93rd minute, it was the last kick of the game, we literally kicked off from kickoff, and that was the whistle blew, so we lost to Bradford PA, we're up against Bradford PA again today, only a few days after the that defeat, so hopefully this time we can come out and win the game, now as you can see, Tactics are remaining very, very similar. We have today's team is going to be Gokic in goal with Leggett, Booker, O'Reilly, and Adu and left back. Now, recently, Adu hasn't been playing because he's been awful, but Brady's injured, so we have no choice because Booker's been playing out there. Um, so we've got no choice but to play him. In front of them is Broccoli with Lawton and Grant in between them. Numo with Young Jones on the wing and two guy up front. On the bench we got Durrell, Awawa, which I'm thinking about not playing Awawa on the bench. At the minute I got Healy, Duel, and Wayher Way Way Hey Oh, Alan, put your teeth back in. Hayhurst <laughs> Who we've just brought in, by the way. Will Will Hayhurst has just come in. As you can see, he's attacking midfielder. He's not on a contract, he's on a play per basis contract so if we look here he's substitute fee is 10 quid if he gets an appearance fee he gets 210 every goal he gets 20 quid bonus so we're not paying anything from every game if we don't play him then we don't it doesn't cost us anything but he's a pretty decent winger his crossing could be better as could his dribbling but his first touch is good his passing's okay his technique's okay his work rate's not the best his pace of stamina could be a little bit better but he's got good pace uh, where do we get? Where was he from? So he was playing at County. Notts County released him. So he's played at League One, League Two, and Championship all his career. Like he's played fifty six games and scored six goals. Like Notts County paid a hundred k for him. What two? Was that 2014, 2015? He didn't play a game for him last season, and then they released him. So he's not too bad of a player. He should do a job in this in this division. But Luke Lofts is Luke Lofts. What did I take? The left back out. Do I take a wow? Uh, yeah, frick it. Let's get Luke Lofts on the bench. Because dual play in the wing. Lofts can play up front. Because I want I want someone in case two guy gets injured in this game. We're going with a standard of fluid formation. So let's get this kicked off for you. And see how we get on. Fingers crossed for three points. They did beat us in the last game. This start of the second half of the season pretty much. So I'm hoping we can do it. 
So they're, they're lining up slightly different. They lined up the same as us in the last game. They're now going to a 4 4 1 1 formation. And we haven't changed. But we have changed some of our personnel this time around. Let's hope we can uh, nick three points straight into the dressing room. Let the assistant give out the game talk. Play your own game and you'll win. Great. No one even looked happy. I would have been going, we owe them. Let's get stuck into them. I don't even know where Bradford are in the league. If it'll let us move it down to show us. Bradford PA. They're just above us. So a victory here would be nice because we'll put pressure on them. I'm not going to commentate for the first kickoff because it normally doesn't lead to anything. And there you go. It's a goal kick to them. So, yeah, 16th we are in the league. We're pulling away from that relegation zone, thankfully. So, hopefully we can do that and get away from them. Bradford PA, as I say, are not far ahead of us on 30 points. We're on 27. We'll be just behind them if we can nick a win here. The board are delighted with me, by the way. We'll be glad to hear. The board are delighted with me. Well, very pleased, let's be honest. Um, so that's good. They're saying I'm performing well on my duties, which is good. They want us to avoid a relegation. We're doing that at present. And hopefully we can get a few more wins underneath our belt. belt. And today would be good. We're coming up with 10 minutes. I have no highlights yet. It's kind of worrying because the last game there was highlight after highlight. So I'm guessing... As usual, they get the first highlight. Row with the free kick, defended off the wall, out for a corner. Now, this is what they did. They scored from a corner in the last game. I haven't changed the corner tactics yet, and I'm just looking here, and it's not looking perfect, is it? I'm going to have to play around with the corner tactics because they got a free. Oh, Jones with the header away. Anumo, can we create a counter attack? We're not set up to do a counter attack. He thumps it forward for two guy, but it goes out of play. Shock and play by uh, Anumo there. As I said, they had the better game in the last game. Let's change this to control. I think we play better with the control. Most of the games in the last games were either control or counter-attack. And we've done really well. Now, the last time we played against Bradford PA, we played counter-attack. And they beat us 2-1. This time, I'm going to play them on control. I did start off as standard, but I'm going to start off on control and see what happens. Because it... Like, I mean... The counter attack clearly didn't work. We're 15 minutes in. Only one highlight's come in. This could be the most boring game of the century. I'll take a draw, but I would prefer a win. Because then we can maybe jump leapfrog Leamington. Because they've just pushed us down the 17th now in the table. Because they're 1 0 up. I'm trying to see if anyone else has scored from our. But they're playing Brackley here below us anyway. Um, Alfredton haven't come up on the sheet. Salford are beating SC United in the Derby of Manchester. Nuneaton are losing, which is good. Don't see Kidderminster. I don't see Spenny Moore. Don't Charlie aren't down with us. And I don't see North Ferby on there. So they're obviously all drawing or playing each other. I don't know. We're back up to 16th. Don't know what happened there. No, it says we're still 17th down below. Unless... Oh, Brackley's just equalised. Okay. So we are back up to 16th in the division. Good, good, good. And another yellow card for Bradford. They got quite a few yellow cards in the last game as well. It'd be nice to see one of them get sent off, maybe. You know, make it a little bit easier for us. Although I've noticed that teams with 10 men, we struggle against. So maybe not. Just let them have 11 men. But we're coming up with 30 minutes, guys. And still no highlights. Just that one highlight where they got the corner. And Kidderminster are now losing, so that moves us up to 15th in the table because of goal difference. Well, that's pretty good. If we can hold out for a draw and they lose, that would be great. Our highlight, though. I do. Plays it down the line of two guy. He should be in the middle. Grant. Broccoli. Lawton. Lawton was injured in the last game, but we played him all the way through. He was only out for one to two days. He came back, so that's not bad. Lawton. Jones. Leggett. Down the line. Jones picks it up, whips it in, and Nemo, oh, over the bar, that should have been a goal, that would have been perfect. And at last, the highlight for us, and it was a dangerous one, but it didn't lead to a goal, which is disappointing. Fitness-wise, we're pretty even, both teams, ratings are pretty even as well. 
Bronze got the highest rating for us, 6.9. I'd like to see a couple of 7s in this game for a change. We're struggling for um, in this game recently for good ratings. But corner now to us. Let's hope, let's see if we can nick it. Oh, sh plays it short to Jones. Into Grant. Back to Jones. Back to Grant. I see it, Broccoli. Oh, tackle on the line. Oh, all Broccoli had to do was stick a leg out and we would have been 1 0 up. It was given offside anyway. As Gainsborough 2 1 up over Boston. 40 minutes gone, guys, and we're still drawing 0 0. Now we're seeing two chances for us. We're starting to dominate the game a little. Like four shots of two, three oh the one on target, six four to them on fouls, two yellow cards to them, but we've had sixty four percent of the possession, which is fantastic. Now we just need to start converting chances though. I might take two guy off and bring Lofts on in the second half. Cause he was dangerous up front for the against Bradford in the last game. Two guys is better though for the good old target pumping the ball forward kind of role. I'm just worried about Lawton's fitness. He wasn't fit in the last game. He got injured and now he's looking like he's unfit again. And I highlight to them, another free kick. I played it short tonight. Who goes for goal, easy for Gokic. Much better. Now will the highlight stay and will we get the counter attack? Gokic pumps it forward towards two guys but it's all over for half time so let's hop into the stressing room and see if we can uh, boost these boys up a little I'm gonna go with assertive not aggressive uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. well let's just go out there and express ourselves that looks much better better reactions let's quickly look at the tactics uh, six point. See, two guys got the worst written. I might put lofts up front. Stuff it. Let's just do it. Look lofts. Get back in the first team. Don't want you being a target man. I want you being advanced forward. Yeah, on attack, I believe. Yes, perfect. Boom. Let's get stuck into this second half. See if we can get a win. Their kick off shouldn't do much from highlights normally. But I have seen recently a few goals from the kickoff on a few of the other guys' uh, channels. So, but they seem to be building it up quite nicely the second half. That's a good play by uh, Bradford PA. And can we intercept? Lawton does, and that's the end of the highlight. I was hoping we were going to get an attack there. So. And North Ferriby are drawing one each now with York. I don't think that's going to affect us because they are way below us in the table. Yes, they are. Free kick, edge of the box, and Numo whips it in. Oh, too easy. Lawton picks it up, though. Jones. Young Jones. See it by the keeper. Numo. Oh, Booker's offside again. Come on, Booker. That's twice now we've been in dangerous attacks. And twice you've been offside. Not happy with Booker being offside again. That's why I prefer him as a left back. And there on the counter attack, O'Reilly with a thumping header forward to Grant. Looks for Numo. And Numo cuts inside. Plays a beautiful ball to look laughs. Oh, keeper saved it. Corner kick. Can't believe he missed it, Eiler. Oh, my word. Can we score from the corner, though? Broccoli whips it in. Defended. Lawton. Hit one. Grant. Turn and hit. Grant. Grant loses it, but he gets it back to the Numo. Who runs into traffic. And Numo could have went right and went... Clean through. Now they're trying to counter attack. Will O'Reilly get there? O'Reilly. Oh, O'Reilly made the mistake. And they're going to score. No, what a tackle by Leggett. Unbelievable challenge. At last, this challenge. And that's what you want from a covering defender. Fantastic glass ditch challenge. I it was in the box a bit hairy, but what a challenge. What a challenge indeed. So, Anumo's playing okay. Grant's playing okay. Fitness is worrying about the centre midfield. I don't have centre midfielders on the bench. Because I just took them off to put Lofts on the bench. 
and the behave hey, where they got another free kick. Man, they're getting free kicks in dangerous positions. Playing the same ball again, and again Knight hits it miles wide. Maybe we should change that up. Excuse me. Oh. And we're back down to 16th because Alferton has 1-0 up over Stockport. I want to bring Hay Hayhurst on, but I don't want to take a Numo off. Jones is playing really, really well. This is Lawton's fitness is going. Absolutely going. They're looking calm, which is kind of weird. But we aren't creating any threatening chances. We've had five on target so far and haven't even put one in the back of the net. Loss isn't doing much better. Grant with a free kick now. Can he score from this free kick? No, he hit the wall. Jesus Christ. Grant picks it up. Come on, you're going the wrong way, Grant. Well, that highlight was short and sweet, wasn't it? Jesus. We need to do something here. Oh, but Lawton's on a 6.8 rating as well. I don't want to take him off. My left back's having the worst rating of the team. Oh, decisions have been made. I'm tempted. John, I'm 70 minutes gone. I'm going to take a Numo off. I'm going to risk it. I want to see Hey Hurt. I actually know. I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring Hayhurst on for Owen Jones. Owen Jones is only a youngster. He only played his first game of the season, last game for us. Ah, Cameron Daly can come on for Lawton. Because he can play centre midfield, I just realised that. Right. So, two changes. I've taken off probably one of my better players in Lawton. And again, Jones, 6.9 rating. I've just taken him off. I probably shouldn't have took off 6.9 rating player, but I want to see if we can score here. I would love to get a goal. And Brackley must be winning. They are. They're now 2-1 up because we just dropped down the 17th because Alfredton and Brackley are both winning. I'm starting to slip back down. Every time I record for you guys, I've seen to start slipping. The game before and the game on, as Leamington have equalised, that's good. That'll push us back up the 16th there we go that's more like it but i don't i don't get it i just can't seem to do it with you guys maybe i'll just stop recording hey <laughs> no i can't do that i like my uh my little channel and i like making recordings for you guys they get another free kick man how many free kicks are they gonna get there's a penalty in it How did that become a penalty? I think I was a do as well, who's not having the greatest game. If this if they score this, it's all out attack. I don't give a toss. We're gonna have to go for it. Come on, Cocky. Need you to save this kid. Cause they don't deserve a victory. They didn't deserve the victory in the last game either. And they scored it. Not impressed at all. I think FM is robbing us. We've been the better team in both games. Yeah, every I'm not I'd be frustrated as well. I'm bloody annoyed as well. They don't deserve to win winning this game in any shape or form. Didn't deserve to win the last game, they don't deserve to win this one, and it looks like it's gonna be a double defeat to Bradford PA for no reason. Oh and FM just wants to pee me off. Down to 17th now. We're dropping back. We're now only one point clear of relegation. We just fought so hard to get away from it. And again, we slip up. Two defeats to Bradford PA is not what I had in mind. But it looks, looks like we're not even going to get a highlight. As Boston went from 3-1 down to 3 each. And it looks like it's going to be no highlight. Even though we're on overload now. Brooker with a free kick. In the grant. Wayhurst. Healy. Down the line away, Hayhurst. Can Hayhurst put in a decent cross? What was that? Cross it to the edge of the box, not behind their goal. Gee. Not impressed at all. For a guy who's played in, like, Championships League 1, League 2, he should be, like, destroying this league. Granted, he's only had 20 minutes, but it's his first game in two years. But that's not the point. 30 seconds left, guys. We're 1 0 down. Can't believe it's a, such a cruel way to lose a game by a penalty that they didn't even deserve. And that looks like it's going to be it. Grant with a free kick. 
it's not even going to show us it. Oh, it is going to show us it now. Whips it in. And they cleared it. That's going to be full time unless he pumps that straight into the box. No, there it goes. Full time whistle. Bradford PA1. Kirsten Ashton. No. Can't believe it. Again, I've recorded for you guys. And again, we get defeat. Can't believe it. We didn't deserve to lose that game. We didn't deserve to lose the game before to the Bradford. We have been totally robbed by FM. But that's the way it goes. And such a cruel way to lose that game as well by an by a penalty, but I'm going to be aggressive because again, that's twice in a row we should, that's the type of game we should be winning so it leaves us down in 17th, one point clear of relegation after pulling away from relegation well guys, we'll be coming back in a few more games time yet again uh, when, when will we be coming back for you guys uh, let's see probably against Gainsborough, which is where I used to live so, I'll come back against probably Gainsborough one or Boston. Tell you what, tell me in the, in the comments below which you prefer to see, the Gainsborough game or the Boston United game. Bear in mind, Boston were 3-1 down and just drew three each with Gainsborough. But, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer to see. Um, again, hit that like up button so other people can see it. If you've enjoyed watching me get beat again, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the other defeats that look like they're going to be coming this way. Especially after a what, two, four, five game undefeated run, we go out and lose two games in a row to Bradford PA, which I'm not impressed with. But hey ho, as I say, we'll probably go out and smash AF City Telford now. No my luck off camera. So again, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And again, guys, thank you very much for coming and joining us. Have a lovely, lovely day. All the best. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.